With the yo ho ho, it's Taylor the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 2 Firestorm. Last time we actually managed to beat Merry Times in a football match. Now they're going to help us out as we try to find Axel. You look totally stunning once again today, Coach Lena. Always quick to divert the topic, Lena. They've got a player called Gaston. Oh! I don't know any more Beauty and the Beast quotes apart from him just singing. But uh, yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of the Frollo show on YouTube, but it's like one of my favourite small series on YouTube done by a guy called Chincharinas. One of two people I'm pledged to on Patreon at the minute. Keep making those countdowns around Diesel 27 and you'll get there. But um, yeah, he makes, it's just focusing on Frollo from um, from the Hunchback of Notre Dame and Gaston from Beauty and the Beast, and it's just a comedy. We gotta chase that Dora Delight girl, because I think she knows where Blaze is. Uh, but I got introduced to that channel because of Super Smash Bros. LOL, just making animated movesets. For all sorts of meme characters and eventually people from Mexican media. But anyway, that's enough for the unexpected plug. Lena still believes she made the right decision in dropping Blaze from the team. Maybe regrets not giving him a chance to speak. I haven't read a single line of dialogue since that coach commented on Lena's attractiveness. But, um... As you may be able to tell, this is going to be much more of a dialogue episode than a gameplay oriented one. So here's a bit of gameplay for you. And now we'll return to mostly just reading. So, hey, it's that guy in the orange hood. Sorry, mate. I still don't say anything. And he's been whispered away. Um, you dropped a huge necklace. How can you support the weight of that thing? But never mind, Sean Frost can hang on to it. Some fishy's going on here. Do you think that were? Look how all of Aiden's lines are in a speech bubble. Speech bubble? Speech marks. <laughs> Stuff in your face again, Wallside. What is he this time? Trying out some of these local crisps. They're very. Oh, no, 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 no. Moorish! Never voice acting crunches again. But anyway, we have to search around Okinawa. Where do we go? Straight down to the clump of three NPCs where you can find Hurley Kane and Caden Soundtown. Oh, hey guys! Come on, Hurley, show us! Chill out, little man. Alright, here it is. One of Hurley's special golden badges. Oh, look how shiny it is! Alright, listen up. The first one to find Dora gets the badge. You know the rules. Three gold badges get you a platinum badge. Well, basically, Hurley Kane's just running a nice little service for the local kids where they can collect badges off the cool surfer dude. Just a nice little touch. Did you make those badges out of seashells? Looks like you're good with your hands as well as your feet. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Don't interject, Sue Hartland. So guys, now you've done the rounds. Has that Dora girl been found? Those kids said they see Dora here on the beach pretty often. I've been getting the feeling she's been hiding something from us lately. The fiery football guy, the weird whirlpool, there's so much strange stuff going on lately. It's stressing me out, man. Have they already found it? Well, that was very fast. The lighthouse keeper said that they had seen Dora. So, I don't know of no boys in hoods. I hope he's up to no good. Not up to no good, we wouldn't encourage him to be a troublemaker, but how can you be a troublemaker when you're basically a mute? Oh, that's not really accurate. You can very easily be a troublemaker when you're a mute, but 
It's alternate tea because some joke. Oh, that's the last straw. You don't do that here in the UK. We take our tea very seriously. We say, really, UK loves coffee more than tea, to be honest, but I'm much more of a tea person, because I'm a British YouTuber, I have to sell myself. <clears throat> anyway, this little kid didn't get his badge. Don't look at me! I don't have any badges! My Pokemon are all level 5! Oh, okay, I have some crisps! Well, at least you got a few of them before you had to give them away. Um, that also means I don't have to voice act any more crunching. But the lighthouse keeper said he'd seen the guy who lives there without his hood, and he had white, pointy hair and super sharp eyes. Well, as if there was any doubt to begin with. <laughs> oh, they think Axel's kidnapped Dora. Let's just head to the lighthouse and sort this out. No messing about, like, I'm going straight there. I could have cut it, to be honest, now I have to. The wild encounters, man, they're everywhere. Let's sneak in a bit of training. One, two, three. Three second animation, fantastic. Hope I didn't waste your time too much. Right then, Hurley, are we gonna bash down the door or what? Dora, are you in there? Talk to me. Dora, you are in there. Are you trapped? Ah, early man, it's locked up good. Stop whirling on that wood. Oh, I, 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 when I recruit Caden Soundtown, it is going to be on screen because we need to hear every bit of dialogue that man has got. Well, I mean, maybe his complaining about having to go to extra time dialogue can be spared. But it's a black football. Well, no, it's not. It's a normal football that's been charred by fire. Has somebody been practicing, possibly with a move such as fire tornado? That boy in the hood must be gangster. Oh, the boy's in the hood, yeah. A hood, eh? Maybe that's the ladder bumped into. You could have spoken up about that sooner. He dropped this. Does it look familiar? Well, actually, it's Axel's pendant, so he did a terrible job to drop that. I mean, it must have been around his neck, surely. Now even at Jack, he has a good chance of flattening the door, if I'm honest. But we can't actually get inside the lighthouse. That's a great place to live if you're homeless. Just sneak into the bloody lighthouse and go unnoticed by everyone other than Dora. It's like having your own house, basically. Anyway, Dora's still in there. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get her some badges. Or swipe or no swiping. I'm gonna get the key from the coach to bust her out of there. Now that would definitely do the job. Oh, I could break the window. <laughs> there is a glass window right there. Sorry, when he's in this mood, there is no talking to that dude. Now this I do not want to see. He'd kill the coach to get that key. <laughs> oh, good grief, right. Well, Cadence is sadly going to stay behind. He doesn't come with us. I'll be... I will recruit that man as soon as possible. But for now, we need to make sure this is a literal... This is a literal story point. We need to return to Mary Times to make sure Hurley doesn't kill the coach. I know he's incompetent, but slow down. Whoa, you were hiding behind the bar. It looks like we were too late, to be honest. He's already been killed. The coach is terrified of the guy. The poor man. Ah, reference to his Japanese name. He came at me like a tsunami. Tsunami, not only is that the name of a great robot, but it's also the name of a great music track I used to listen to a lot. It's just, it's, a, it's an alright name, if a bit, whoa, so radical, and a bit unlikely, but in truth, everybody's Japanese name in the anime and, and game is stupid. We just don't realise it because we don't speak Japanese. And tsunami is an English word, which we were bound to notice, but... Man, why'd you let him go, Dora? <sighs> Come on, Dora, tell us why. 
You are hiding, fire guy. If he really is the Ryman Ace, why is he so scared to show his face? Uh, oh, whatever, out of my way, I'm going after him. I won't let you! Oh, when did you get so strong? Harley, what's going on? That hood guy ran off. You need to chase him down, man. Axel ran up. Come on, we gotta go! No, you can't go after him! Dora, why are you trying so hard to protect this guy? I, I didn't tell any of you, but I nearly drowned in that whirlpool as well. He saved me. His fiery shot. It was amazing. I said I wanted to do something to say thank you. And he said he needed a place to hide. Somewhere he could train by himself. He also told me not to tell anyone he was here. Especially not anyone from Ryman. Why did he need a place to hide? Is there someone after him? I don't know. He never talks about himself. Why didn't you tell us this before? Because she was sworn to secrecy, obviously. You should have said. You worried us all half dead. You, you can't blame her. She was just following her invisible contract. He said he couldn't see you yet. Yet? What does that mean? I don't know. He just said he couldn't see you. I've been warning him whenever you were nearby and telling him to run away. Why, Axel? Why can't you just tell us what's going on? We're your friends! Look... Uh, I'm not supposed to let anyone into his room, but... Follow me. Oh, if Axel finds out you've let them in his room, he'll kill you, you know. He's got some very big radiators. <laughs> yeah, oh, you can tell he's been here, can you, Mark? Just... Well, he's got a kit, but then that's about it. I can rhyme now, can I not? Caden Soundtown, go and get shot. <laughs> what? I, I just wanted to prove my superiority, but um, I, I couldn't think of anything that rhymes with not. Oh, it's the sound of the whirlpool. It's still cued. The alias theme, though. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I... But we better go investigate. We'll talk about this later, Dora. Alright, be careful, Hurley. He'll be there too. I know it. He'd do anything for his friends. Well, I mean, the music's still happy now. Can't have been that bad, can it? Explain it to us, Lena. Oh, that's... It, it, another whirlpool. Pretty close to the pitch. No more playing football here anymore. If you kick the ball into the water, it's gone forever. Oh, no, that's an evil laugh. Oh, no, that's the sprites of Epsilon. Oh, he's lost his eyeballs. <laughs> he, what are you lot doing here? <laughs> Okinawa is our training ground. You walked right onto our home turf. It is fate. Our rematch was written in the stars. No way. They just don't give up, do they? We are no longer Epsilon. We have been granted even greater power. Now we are Advanced Epsilon. Advanced Epsilon? Dare you take us on, Ryman? Did, did Genesis order you to play us? They gave us no orders. It is Lord Dvalin's and the team's desire to fight you. Indeed. My only wish is to enjoy the simple pleasure of playing you once more, despite the loss of my eyesight. To finally humiliate you while feeling that sensation. Do I need any other reason to challenge you? What? You were 
expect us to play you just because you feel like it. No, I expect you to play us because otherwise we will be forced to destroy another school or two. <laughs> what? Dwalin, you... Is he going in for a punch or what? We can take them on, can't we, coach? Mark! Well, if you can't beat them, there's no way you'll be able to beat Genesis. Do not underestimate us. Our new powers make us every bit as powerful as Genesis. So these guys from Alias Academy, everyone's been talking about. That's right. They're freaking me out. Even the wind and the ocean are scared. I'm with you, Mark. I'm not letting these aliens ruin the vibe of Okinawa. That's the spirit. So is it okay, coach? The decision is yours, Evans. Then it's settled. Team, get ready to play. We're going to end this today. All right. Axel, I know you're going to be watching. Hello? Spears? Yeah, it's time. Put the plan into action. If this works, we'll be able to defeat Epsilon once and for all. Don't let me down. Hey, um, I thought you might need this 